Hey everyone, welcome to another Elden Ring soul farming video. I finally found a simple strategy that suits my needs. It's a short run, it's very consistent, there are no real requirements, but you do need to set it up first. I even tested this on a brand new character, so if you're looking to do a level 1 run, this is a viable strategy to get some souls in the early game. So let's quickly see what this strategy is all about. The strategy takes place at the Divine Tower of Kaelid. On screen you'll see a spoiler free map from the gate front bonfire at the start of the game. Following the expertly drawn squiggle, travel on horseback to this location up in the top right and pick up the bonfires for safety in case you have one of those Elden Ring accidents. The tower is ridiculously tall and really sticks out as a landmark to go towards. You should approach it in the same direction that I do in this clip, and you can either dismount where I do, or you can use the horse to help you jump down the tree branches first. From here, you will want to follow the path that I take. Each of the three enemies you encounter can all be evaded, which is what makes this strategy possible on a weaker character. If you want to make this an even safer process, you can equip any shield. I don't know why I didn't record a single run through with a shield equipped. It sounds like a no brainer now that I'm here with the microphone and everything. Make sure to do a running jump for these gaps as well. If you fall down, you will have to do a drop down and retrace your steps and climb up ladders and it just takes you longer. The other thing that's quite annoying about this is the enemies are already alerted to you so they can mess your shit up. It can be quite frustrating, especially if you do mess this up. So just get it right first time, right? The third enemy is actually blocking us. You see that I try to roll and I, I just can't get through. So you can either knock him off or you can just bait him into attacking you and then you can run past. Also, if he does hit you, you want to prioritize jumping over to this first section. Take your time with these final jumps, climb up the ladder and you will make it to the tower bonfire. So we can't farm just yet. We actually need to go through this area and unlock a shortcut. So I'm gonna quickly run you through that and then we're good to go. Okay, so once again, just follow my character. I'm doing this on the level one class. So if he gets here, he's pretty much dead, but the bonfire is right here, right? So we wanna start by dropping down and then we just walk along this outer edge until we reach the second place where we drop down and then just let your character fall. Don't press any buttons. After that, you wanna drop down and then line up so that you can walk onto this circle shaped platform. You can then walk off of this platform and land below, then jump forward, just hold forward and jump onto the next ledge. From here, you can walk off of this ledge and even walk off of the next ledge and you've completed the platform section and you're at the final hurdle. The final hurdle is this guard. Hug the wall, he will try to attack you and then you just run around him and you run up in the elevator and you, you shake your victory out and just wait for the elevator. Finally, you wanna unlock the ladder. <laughs> Finally, head up the ladder and unlock the door. Walk back to the bonfire and you can start farming. The actual farming strategy is super simple. All we do is run back down and we run past the guard in front of the door that we unlocked. Climb onto the ladder and as soon as we can move down, go down three steps. You can even count them out if you need to. One, two, three. As soon as you've done that, just wait. The guards will do something stupid and they'll fall down and die. Once the second guard is already falling, you can save a bit of time by climbing back up, warp back to the bonfire to save another bit of time, and you can repeat the process as much as you like. 